And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for part two of our sub battle stream. Uh, if you missed part one, hope you check that one out also if you're, you're watching this over on YouTube. But this is where I'm going to be playing against subscribers all day with a different deck every match. And they're bringing their fun and inter interesting decks to the table as well. So let's have some fun. Uh, we got a, a new person that we're going to be playing against. But to first, to figure out what deck I'm playing, I'm going to be spinning this wheel. I'm spinning a wheel each time and playing whatever it says. So let's see, what deck are we playing up next? Looks like Selesnia Knights. That's a good one. Okay. So Selesnia Knights. Here it is. I won't be like linking every single one of these deck lists in chat, but these are all decks that I've played before on stream. So you can find all of them um, on the stream channel. But yeah, this is Selesnia Knights trying to get that late game, trying to go wide with Worthy Knight and Circle of Loyalty. This is a fun one. So here we go. Hey, Mana Traders. How are you doing? Hope your holidays, hope your holiday season has gone really well. Um, Munchies, I'm, I'm assuming I'm supposed to have an N here. Okay, yeah, there's supposed to be an N there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can post your awesome holiday giveaway. You have an awesome holiday giveaway? Absolutely. Mana Traders is just the absolute best site to rent. If y'all don't know Mana Traders, the best site to rent Magic Online cards. So like, if you want to get started on, on Magic and you don't want to spend a lot of money, you can just pay a monthly uh, fee, you know, like a Netflix subscription or anything like that, and get signed up. For mana traders and you just rent the cards from them basically you just say all right i would like these cards um and they send them to you it's just immediate right like that and then right whenever you get done playing you send them back very easy to use it's awesome so those y'all wanted to get in especially if you want to get into different formats you know like if you want to play pioneer and you don't want to just like buy all sorts of pioneer cards but you want to try a lot of different decks Y'all should check out Mana Traders. I'll send you the site to their... There's their website. Alright, got Worthy Knight to start with. Okay, cool. It looks like they have a... An awesome giveaway there. With 15 winners total. Cool, so yeah, check that out. All right, what would you say is the best free-to-play starter deck you get from the game to build up on ranked? Honestly, I I don't know. Honestly, I don't. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't even tell you what the decks, the starter decks that you get are. To, to be hundred percent honest, um, I wouldn't. I would be surprised if any of them were very good. To to play in ranked, to be honest. You know, standards are very competitive, and I'd be surprised if any of the starter decks were were very competitive. All right, we got Munchies has a lot of mana over here. Hungry for that mana. Even though I'd really like a land drop, I should probably just, I probably should have just cast Blonde of Flourishing. I was thinking doing that, then Conclave Tribunal, but honestly, now that I think about it more, I don't even, I don't want a Conclave Tribunal with two, two Krasis. We need to save that for like um, Nyssa and stuff like that. So I should have just cast Blonde of Flourishing and looked for a land. Yeah, Cavalier Thorns, that's a good card to Conclave Tribunal.
agent of treachery. Don't steal my stuff. Dang, so much ramp. <laughs> and I have three lands. Land drop. <clears throat> we can go wide though. Um, I don't know. Maybe we don't need to even get rid of a Cavalier of Thorns. I don't know. That's not a good sign. Draw a card, immediately start t tapping all of the mana. That's not a good sign. Can I go wide enough? Probably not. they're taking 19 here 19's a lot yeah Yes. <laughs> yeah, we need more human tokens. If they didn't kill the, the Conclave Cavalier, they're still going to be one damage short. There's a finale. Boom. <clears throat> the crisis top deck into another crisis. Too good. So I think I want Prison Realm and some Wanderers to exile some large creatures. Night of Autumn's not doing a lot, but it is a night. <laughs> Regimani, I'm not salty. I was just saying. I was saying why I lost. I don't... I don't mind that I lost. Let's see. 
I need it. I think we're going to want Paradise Druid out first. Oh, those are some good cards. If I take this land over them. Um, those are some good cards. But I want to curve Worthy Knight into Conclave Cavalier right here. Uh, no Night Pack Ambusher. There's the Hydra Kraysi over there. So I want to draw my random card first so I have more information whenever I make a decision. <laughs> or, or not make a decision. These Cavalier of Thorns. So many of them. So it can go block, block, take 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Take 16. Am I supposed to attack Nissa at all? Do I save Flourish? I'm getting pretty punished by taking that land and, and putting these two cards down to the bottom. Yeah, this is where I play against subscribers all day here, Mr. Paladin. Yeah, that's what we're doing. I, d I just don't really see how I'm going to be winning with this. I can't really think of an attack that, that really is, is me winning with this flourish. Cavalier Thorns looked awesome. My my best chance is drawing like another another anthem effect, I guess. They're at eight? No, because an anthem effect doesn't kill them. No. I don't I don't think I have a chance. I have to go crazy and draw a lot of creatures with the Great Henge. Don't have a chance. Behold, 
Nature's true power. So I guess the Bond of Flourishing play, I, I took the wrong card. All right, GG's. Team chat got a, another one. Because I had a 0% chance of winning. That's why I conceded. Good job, munchies. GG's. All right, let's see who is going to be up next. No, I, I really did have a 0% chance of winning. I couldn't possibly win. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, got to be a subscriber. Type the word battle. We got lots of people in here wandering to battle. All right, give you just a little bit more time. You got to get in there. All right. Yep, have to, Meldo. All right, let's see who is up next. Debo four. Mr. Paladin. Getting that tier one sub. Thank you, Mr. Paladin. All right, Debo, send me that gamer tag. Okay, you're going to be playing one of my decks? All right, well, let's see what deck I'm going to be playing. So let's spin the wheel. Let the wheel decide what I have up next. Golgari Aggro. All right, send, yeah, send me that gamer tag Debo for. There we go. Debo. Yeah, so I'll be doing I'll be doing another I'll be doing that same thing. I'll be doing another giveaway type thing after this match to determine who's going to be the next person and so on. So that's that's what we do. We just do so you just have to be able to re-enter after this. What am I doing? Oh, I'm doing uh Golgari Aggro. Where's that deck? There it is. So we're going to Adventure, Rotting Registor, Great Henge. Putting them together. Here we go. And Fluky Flick gifting out a sub. Chris Michael joining us. Thank you, Fluky Flip. I go first with a one lander with this. I go first with a one lander with this. <laughs> this is the same hand. Yeah, so Mr. Paladin, so just kind of wait. We'll we'll do. Um, ooh, Abzan Hero. That is a very good deck. I like that deck a lot. Oh, dang, yeah. Sorry to hear that, Boot. No, I do not have a Jace Arcane Strategist deck. I do not.
already jealous. Opponent's probably got way cooler cards than, than what I got. Civilization has crept too far. Tear it down. Get him. That's true, I have a Vivian. I'm surprised the Vivian didn't die. I am surprised the Vivian didn't die. I'd get out of the way if I were you. I'm a little surprised they didn't attack Vivian with the one one and force me to trade a Paradise Druid for the one one. Oh, why did I play that Murderous Rider? That was bad. I should have waited for the Murderous Rider. Yeah, that was bad by me. My, my. How you've grown. Yeah, you know, good, Mr. Paladin, you should. We are the Apex Predators. Garrick likes to brag. Adventure creature. Wow. That was such a good draw. That was just a, an amazing turn for me with the Great Henge. That's fine. Good to keep it in Keeper. <laughs> I'm back. I was trying my new Instapot for the first time, and I didn't blow up my kitchen. Yay. <laughs> it's definitely good. Finally get an attack in. Tulsmer. No, the innkeeper. No. All right, definitely want to shuffle because I had a bunch of spells down at the bottom of the library. I don't know if I'm supposed to attack with the Rotting Regisaur. No, it doesn't. Doesn't seem like it's a very good attack. They, you know, they could just jump block with a one-one and then have better attacks coming back. Oh, 
There you go, that's a good one. Start sacking some of these creatures. Oh, okay. That works too. Sack some creatures, draw some cards. That works. That keeps my attacking at bay, and now they get to sack <coughs> creatures without having to worry about attacking. So 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, so I'm 14 lands are gone. Rise and shine. Make that 15. And... The Great Hand adds two green mana, so you know, like we just have, still have more green mana than black mana here. No, don't, no, no, opponent, don't, don't sacrifice lands. They're much more valuable. Like they should sacrifice the one one, because they would get to draw two cards with Liliana. One and two, they should be, they should be attacking pretty aggressively here. Also, get to draw a lot of cards with Liliana in play. Yeah, like they should be attacking with a lot of stuff. All right, 17 lands. Putrid, but effective. Sacrifices. I think this deck has 24. So we're 17 lands. So I think there's seven left. Yeah, if it's, I mean, if it's a token, they don't draw an extra card with Midnight Reaper. But yeah, could be, sack, could be sacking all those tokens and drawing extra cards, but that's okay. Yeah, we only have 24 lands. We saw 18 of them in the first 29 cards. That happens, I suppose. It's an unfortunate game for me to lose because I don't think we really get better post board. Uh, if we take out Rotting Registor, play Duress. Play our own Golgari Queen. Grasp kills a few things, but not everything. But yeah, Grasp could kill a couple of things. You know, could kill Kethis, <clears throat> Garrick, Vraska, Soren, Hero. I guess it kills almost everything except for Liliana and Midnight Reaper. Yeah, yep, we played some Abzan Wolves before. Looks like This list was from a while ago, but yeah. Played a few different Abzan Wolves variants. Hey, Joe. There's one that was a donation deck that was kind of recent.
I'm basically hoping this questing beast does a lot of damage for me. Well, it's basically all I had. <laughs> now here's where we draw 17 lands. We got a lot of lands to draw to get there. I think playing the, playing the Murderous Rider just allows them to play this Othakaya for good value. But... With with me having Edgewall Innkeeper, I thought that like maybe I just hold on to it. Maybe we draw um, Edgewall Innkeeper. But even now we have it for Great Henge now. <laughs> There's a lot henging on this. Debo needs to draw a green source. Oh, uh, they did. Well, that still doesn't save them, though, because... Oh, well, they get, they get to block. Questing Beast is not completely unblockable. So, yeah, no, that was... That was good. <clears throat> um... I was basically hoping for just exactly that. I don't know. That's actually not even good, because then they just replay that with Kethis. Hmm. Yeah, that's just game. Darn. All right, team chat got another one. Abzan Hero is pretty great. Abzan Hero is awesome. They're just going to replay Tulsimer. Kill my questing beast. But. Cool. All right, so if you're a subscriber and you want to be the next person to battle, if you want to play next, if you're a subscriber, type the word battle into the chat. Um, make sure MTG bot starts it there to see how MTG bot says giveaway started. Make sure you type battle after that for those of y'all that typed it before. So like you may, so like, like Choco, you're not in there. Good games there, Diva Ford. Correct, brain fight. Yep. Yep. New person each time. I want to try to get as many people the ability to join as possible. <laughs> I would play with my kids are streaming eight devices at the moment. Dang. <laughs> yep. I mean, Abzan here is awesome, but yeah. That was a rough game one there with that. We had that one amazing turn with the Great Henge, and then just nothing after that. I don't know how many lands in a row that was, because, you know, we had the two Rotting Regisaurs. They both drew lands, and then it was all lands after that. 
I don't know. There might have been seven or eight lands in a row. <clears throat> All right. Looks like everybody's in there. Uh, Brainfly already already played against Bla Brainfly. Let's do a new one. Ambulatory stupor. Ambulatory. Ambulatory stupor. <laughs> Alright, stupor. Send me that to gamer tag. So basically all you, you know, if you go to the direct challenge, click this, that copies it, copy that over to the chat. This is Gold by Nick Murphy and Chet Faker. All right, and while that sets up, let's spin the wheel. Let's see what deck I'm going to be playing next. <laughs> there you go, Mink. Thank you. All right, more... More of the Great Henge. This time with Gruel. We're doing Gruel Henge. Oh, so I'm going to go here. We're going to choose Gruel Henge. Oh, we need a Henge plus Citadel deck. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that, that Golgari deck could probably play some Citadels. All right, so this is what our deck looks like. We're basically big mana with, really, you know, just like large creatures. Play the Great Henge. Draw some cards. Eventually attack and try to win. No problem. All right. So make sure you have it format best of three. If you didn't have my gamer tag, it, it's right there in the chat. Maybe that comes up, but it's right there on the screen. Uh, yeah, Domri's ambush. It is super powerful for sure. Just so in the, the main screen right here, this this main screen, you just got to you know go to direct challenge here. Click there, copy paste mine in there. And this third option, just change it to format best of three. Just do those. Mono Green Player with a Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Mono Green Player. All right, perfect. So I do want to draw land if I, even though, like, Highlands and Passage are both tap lands. If I didn't want to draw lands, I would lead with Passage. But I want to draw land, so I'm leading with Highlands. It's Gruul vs. Naya.
<laughs> Looks nigh impossible. I have not gotten re complaints about the microphone recently. Not recently. So we shocked in there. Wow, mana traders. The huge donation there. Thank you so much. Now you are very welcome for that shout out. You absolutely deserve that. Yeah, one, one more time. For those of y'all that, that are uh, just kind of joining us in between there, manatraders.com is the best card rental service for Magic Online. If you want to get into Magic Online, it's the cheapest way to do it. You can just rent decks. You can play lots of different decks. Use their service for years. Check them out over there. Do I? Yeah, so I can go Great Henge plus Bone Crusher Giants here. So I think that's my plan. Yeah, it's very fast, very, very easy to set up. What we got going on over here? Okay. So Paradise Druid getting stomped, but also Conscientious over there kind of getting stomped too. Okay. Good play. One, two, three, four. I need to draw a land to have lethal. And I drew a land. So I have lethal. Duels of the push nods. Things are about to get real rowdy. Cavalier Thorns with haste. And a counter. And it draws you a card. Because, you know, Domri's tick up gives your creatures riot. So you can either give them haste or give them, give them an extra counter. So... <clears throat> kind of of a gruelish mirror. Don't know if that means I really change anything. Doesn't seem like it. May I play another ambush over a over a Domri over a Domri Anarch Bolas on the draw. Season of Growth, okay. Season of Growth's pretty awesome. I've been wanting to put together a Gruel Season deck again. Um, I've been thinking, you know, that's that's a deck that's kind of on my list of of decks to to revisit. may be small but watch out when I flex them okay yeah Horatio yeah give it a try yeah I really like it so yeah going Naya you get that card I'm not sure if, if Naya is worth it with the mana you mana's pretty rough <laughs> a little bit me up 
before the real fun begins. Peace. This is an underplayed card. Domery Chaos Bringer. Ah, it's Feather. That would make sense with playing Naya. That would make a lot of sense. <laughs> My muscles may be small, but watch out when I flex them. Naya Feather. All right, so we're six and three. Oh wait, no, no, I should not say that. I forgot. It's a battle day. I am six and three. It's not. It's not a we thing because y'all are cheering for chat. Sorry, Stu. For yeah, I just had awesome. I just had really good hands there, and deck hit hard. <laughs> Double haste should equal unblockable for one turn. Okay. Yeah. All right. Team, team chat, if you're a sub, you want to be next, type the word battle. You sneaked in a Nissa ult with Fabled Passage and Evolution Sage proliferating twice into her ult, triggering a ton of proliferates. Yeah, I, I really like Evolution Sage. That's also a card I think is kind of underrated. I really like Evolution Sage. Um, but yeah, Evolution Sage with Nissa. That's a, that's a really good combo. Okay, it does a decent job being a poor man's team or adventure when you get to draw lands. Gotcha. What's wrong, USS? Yeah. Yep, that's a, that's a tough part with Evolution Sage. All right, let's let's see who's up next. Come on, dude. You're up next. All right, send me that that gamer tag, that gamer tag. There's my gamer tag. All right, I'm going to spin the wheel, see what deck I'm playing up next. Yeah, no rush, Anna Trana. Do it every month. Five color planeswalkers. All right, so we're going to be playing five color planeswalkers. Um, it's a pretty crazy deck. We hope to draw Fires of Invention. <laughs> And Do Dovin Architect of Law. This could be a fun one. Here we go. All right, yeah. So make sure you change. Just change it to best of three right here. Don't have, don't change anything else. Just this the third option right there to change it to best of three. There we go. Yeah, they could white. Um, they could see the cards, but they're not they're not doing that though. <laughs> no, we did we did good with this deck, Candice. I think we went five one. I think maybe four two. I know we picked up a lot of wins though. We did go with this one. Wow. The deck does have like 27 lands. <laughs> that was a rough opening hand. Um, I'm not sure which 
one of these shock lands I'm supposed to keep. I guess I'm just going to do Blood Crypt. I don't know. Ah, good. Two Interplanar Beacons can't actually cast Narset. I actually do need to draw like a, a blue source or just have four lands. Like I can't actually play Narset next turn. Because you know, like this could add two different colors of mana, but only to only to cast planeswalker spells. It doesn't activate the other one, so. <clears throat> All right, we got a cool-looking Bant deck here. I have practiced keep an open mind. I have practiced keep an open mind. Oh no! We are returning to nature. Whoops. Now do you see the benefits? Hone your prowess. I can't really play the shimmer possibility. There's a blue land. Oh, I am gonna love tearing this place to Well, you can ultimate Vivian this turn if he wants. If I have to light the way, I will. <laughs> now do you see the benefits of peace? I'm assuming that Come On Dudes is playing creatures and just hasn't drawn any. Yeah. It is probably sad right about now. It's okay, USS. No one is more prepared to meditate and prepare. So glad to have you in here. Watching the stream and everything. That's good enough for me. It's crazy. If you'd watch this game, you'd think the Planeswalkers are like the only card type. <laughs> we haven't played anything but Planeswalkers. Oh no, there we go. Stone Coil Serpent. That's not a Planeswalker. Oh man, and they have Veil of Summer up. Whoa, Anatran, thank you so much. 
Gift in the sub, so now USS is subbed. Um, how do I want to do this? So we have Vraska Ultimate. Ooh, Evolution Sage. We were not destined to fight. Uh, let's just do it. Let's do it this way. All of these powerful planeswalkers, and it's like this little zombie. This one little zombie just causes the downfall. All of these planeswalkers over here. The Gruel list I was just playing. Um, it's Gruel Henge. I can type that in. Here you go. <clears throat> All right. Anything I want to change? Probably should play Elder Spell. But I kind of like Elder Spell in the sideboard to grab with Fae of Witches. Yep, that's what this deck is. Five color super friends. All right, need to find white mana. We got a temple. And there's white mana. Oh yeah, I was kidding about the Veil of Summer. That was me being silly. Sorry, I'm late. Trust me, I have a plan. Put a counter on Teferi. I would do that. Like, if they're going to kill Teferi anyway, put the counter on first, and then kill Teferi. To show... Show what's up. So it's better for me to get a tap land in here, but I don't know, I kind of want to gain these lives. I am not going to sit this way. I've got time. With a beacon, but I'm probably going to have to just shock anyway. Yeah, we got Dovin Architect of Law. Wouldn't it be a five-color Planeswalker deck without Dovin? I don't know why it wouldn't, but... Dovin's cool. Ruh -roh. Strange and magnificent world. The land fights for us. Um... Nissa gonna kill me. This is gonna kill me. No, Spyglass does not work with Fire's Invention. There's no. Fire's Invention has no activated ability. Oh. Oh, because they're gonna just ultimate Nissa here. And then this could be lethal. Depending on how many forests they have in their deck.
with Stone Coil Serpent getting a counter on each one of these. Looks like that, that Othakaya draw was really big. We definitely would have been dead if we didn't draw that Othakaya, like we would have just drawn a land. So each force they get to put into play puts a counter on the Stone Coil Serpent. Looks like eight. Yeah, 12, 12. I kept all my ritual sets and stuff in in. You know, I kept all those in. And we had the three legions in. So we had stuff. Maybe Maybe an elder spell over an Othakaya. I don't know. Othakaya seems pretty cool. No, I like the Kaya's Wrath over here to be able to grab with Fae of Wishes. No, yeah, I'm basically just going to keep it the same. No, Mountain Wind Cat, no. This is a, a sub battle stream. There's no bad manners here, there's no VM. How's our 27 land deck keep mulliganing so much? Be a good car, but we need land. I'm pretty sure this deck has 27 lands. Even though it sure hasn't seemed like it. So I'm keeping the I'm taking the watery grave even though we have to shock for watery grave where you may be like well it doesn't matter once we have fires of invention why would we shock the the main reason is so that then we have two other blue sources besides castle to be able to scry with that's what I'm thinking there. There's Nissa over there. I'm pretty dead. I'm not as dead with a Johnny. We just want to draw Ritual of Set.
Well, I'm dead, Nissa. My intellect is without limit. I was really praying for a ritual set. Paradise Druid and Johnny the Great Hearted is a, is a sweet combo. Keeping that hexproof. I will return one day. I'm not in the worst spot, though. I have a lot of stuff I could find. All right, is this good enough if I go Dragon God, Blood Crypt, Ugin? That's not bad. If we didn't just die this last turn with Dragon God, we're probably not going to die here either. So we need to get the sixth land anyway to get the Sugan in play. Let your weak minds yeah, I'm actually doing doing pretty good. That come on, dudes just had a you know a very a very poor turn there. They had nothing else to follow up. Secrets manifest. And I was able to survive. Now do you see the benefits of Stone Cold Serpent has trample. Paradise Druid does not. Nickel Bulls can't minus and kill either, because you know Paradise Druid has hexproof and this has protection from multicolor. And obviously this is multicolor. Find. Yep, I think this is over now. I should have attacked a Johnny first because they could have just gotten rid of a Johnny. Had that opportunity, needed just a little bit more to kill me. Almost just need like one more card to kill me, but cannot anymore. Thanks, USS. That was really close. Need that one extra card. Okay. So you were the mono red dragon meme deck last week. This is your new meme deck. Gotcha. Well, hey, no, G GG's there. Come on, dude. That was a really, really close match. Yeah. Well played. Um, all right. So let's do... Uh, let's do our next one. See who's up next. If you're a subscriber and want to play... Up next in our sub battle stream, type the word battle into the chat. Give you all just a minute to join. Yep, I do this once a month. Yep, the last Saturday of the month. We do sub battle Saturday. <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, QQ, yeah, does some bot stuff. All right, looks like everybody's in there. Let's see who's up next. <laughs> I do too, Adam. There's the winner. It's Bert. Bert. All right, Bert, send me that gamer tag. You know how to do this. <clears throat> okay. Let me get to the wheel. All right, here's our wheel. Let's spin the wheel. Let's see what deck I'm playing up next. Mono white formation. We're going aggro. All right, so the mono-white formation deck. It's our one drop aggro. Hopefully, Bert isn't playing a bunch of sweepers. Bird's like, all right, time to grab the sweeper deck. <laughs> Ooh, Nicol Bolas versus Domri. Oh, no. I don't like this matchup for Domri. I don't like this matchup for Domri. Nah, no, nah, they don't, Mink. No. We don't really have anything on the line here. Yep. Just pride. Yep, they get to gloat about. Um, getting the W for the rest of the month. Until the next time. So much mana. Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna be casting unbreakable formations. Could adapt Incubation Druid to turn Incubation Druid into a 3-5. Yeah, no, chat did win did win a sub battle stream once. It did happen. It was like 10 to 8 or something like that.
Like the the cute little fox was barking at me. I didn't know there was a purple fox. I didn't know there was a purple fox. I'm gonna bring in, in a Tamik over a Hanged Executioner. <laughs> yeah, Luxodon into Unbreakable Formation is just GG. Yep, gotta have sweepers. Unfortunately, Bird's play in mono green. This is not the not a good matchup for Bird. Yeah, Burr played some mana creatures. A bunch of mana creatures. Three of them. So that was it. But also, like, the other thing is, is Burr mold to five. So, like, I just had, like, that amazing start with five creatures into Venerate Luxodon on turn three and then formation, formation. It's, like, it's a, that's what my deck does and Burr mold to five. Yeah, yeah, Stuber. Yeah, you could def I could definitely see having more Tamiks in there. If, yeah, if Nissa, you know, the more popular Nissa is, um, this deck, in, in general, this deck does pretty good against the Nissa decks. Like that's usually the good the good matchup. Like I, I haven't really struggled against Nissa decks. But yeah, I can definitely see wanting to play more. More Tamik. I hate leading with Loyal Pegasus. Loyal Pegasus can't attack. Good fairy guide mother. So the law root enforcers are going to try to try to tap things. It is really cool how Rally of Wings taps everything, untaps everything, that is. <clears throat> so, like, you can you can do that. You can attack with everything, untap everything, and then have Law Rune Enforcer tap stuff down. Man, that's just a, a poor matchup. For Bert, but also not great hands there with the mold of five and then and then stuck on three lands. Probably had a bunch of questing beasts and stuff. No, La Rune doesn't get the plus two plus two, no. But it gets to untap, because everything untaps. Just the flyers get the plus two plus two though. Yet all the questing beasts in hand? Dang. Sorry, Bird, that's that was a really tough draw for you there. How are you liking the mono green mid-range deck though? I, I really like that deck. How are you liking it? But yeah, obviously the deck that goes super wide really fast, that's not good for mono green. Loving it, awesome. Alright, let's what am I doing? Let's let's get another match going. 
All right, so type the word battle. Yeah, yeah, the hyper aggro is the toughest. That was that was a bad spin of the wheel there for you. No exclamation mark there, Guru. All right, so, you know, if you're a subscriber, you want to play, type the word battle. Yeah, I like that one rally of wings. I think it's good to have in there. I don't think it's something that you need to have, like, more of, but I think that fir that first copy of Rally of Wings is pretty nice. Yeah, you were just a tad bit fast to start with there, Paladin. Good call, MC. Okay, let's see who's up. Choco! Oh, Zythan just missed it. And Hillbilly just missed it, too. I gotta get in there right away. All right, Choco. Send that gamer tag. Let's spin the wheel. Let's see what deck I'm going to be playing up next. It's a two lane adventure. Chocobo King. All right, so two lane adventure is much, much slower. But this is a deck that's all about out grinding. It's like the Teamer Lucky Clover deck, but we're going Bant. Okay. Here we go. Hand looks pretty beastly. <clears throat> Go get him, one ones. Mardu Knights. Well, that was bad. I should have played Hollow Fountain, not the island, not that island. I kind of just forgot that that Fable Passage was not going to be coming into play. Tap untapped there so yeah obviously i should have just played the hallowed fountain out that didn't work for me So my plan here is to have Fae of Wishes. Whoa. Whoa. Hmm.
going to say my plan was Fae of Wishes for Time Wipe. Divine Visitation. This ain't two lane. We got two lane. Yeah, I guess I could have grabbed Planar Cleansing, couldn't I? Yeah, I guess that's true. I was thinking Time Wipe picked the Fae of Wishes back up. But yeah, maybe I should have just grabbed... Planar Cleansing. Yeah, I guess that would have been better. Hmm. Okay, I kind of regret everything I just did. Like, just playing the Fae of Wish here and everything. I, sh I should just, you know, played Chew Lane, then Fae of Wish. Oh. Darn it, tap the Paradise Druid. I guess it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I still have 10 cards over here. They got 6 cards with those 2 enchantments in play. Alright, so now I have the mana next turn to go Fae of Wishes, Planar Cleansing. Wishes is so good. I'm not sure if Chocobo King has enough left over. Yeah, I would have blown up the Lucky Clover, but yeah, I could have played Lucky Clover first and double search. True. Chu Lane can pick Fae of Wishes back up. You, know, you don't have to discard two cards because Chu Lane, you can just pay your three, pick Fae of Wishes back up. Hmm. 
Correct, Horatio. Yeah, it's just a, a creature that grabs a land. I talked about yesterday at the end of the mono green mid range deck that I think I want to play Stone Coil Serpent. Watch that the end of the, the video with that. But yeah, that's what Golas does. It's a value creature. I'm going to play Teferi instead of Shepherd. Two lanes stuck on your screen. Yeah, just refresh then. <laughs> yeah, I just have the one Teferi that we can grab with Fae of Witches if, if need be. It's not really what the deck's about. Knight is so worthy. So basically, I trade Paradise Druid for like a 2 2 plus a bunch of 1 1s because you know, I'm not killing that Worthy Knight otherwise, and so it was going to make a wide variety of 1 1s. No, that have been good to play Innkeeper before that last turn. We just left town. We don't need the Innkeeper anymore. Oh, right. I forgot how great Wintermore Commander is. That card's pretty great. Is that indestructible? You're indestructible. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> the veteran. So we have four extra mana after Fay of Wishes.
yeah, there's no incentive to play anything this turn. And time wipe with Fae of Wishes is pretty incredible. Talk about a combo there. I don't have a the Great Henge anymore. I mean, this is just showing that having nine mana is better than having three mana. That's all this game is showing. Yeah. So many draws for Choco. Choco. <clears throat> Choco just can't catch a break. Have to gain 16 life here pretty soon. All right. Sorry, Choco. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Choco. That was rough. Yeah, all those cards, no lands. Yeah, the Divine Visitation deck was pretty sweet. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. The Fae of Wishes go and grab in Time Wipe. That was pretty rough. <clears throat> All right. Uh, if, you, if you're a subscriber, you want to be the next person to play, type the word battle into the chat like everybody else is doing there. So everybody getting in there? All this is, yeah, so it's just for, for subscribers only. But yeah, type battle. If you'd like to to play up next. Alright, let's see who it's gonna be. Ah, uh, sorry, Daniel. Need to be a subscriber. Ism. Ism, you were up. All right. Yep. Good luck, Ism. Send me that gamer tag. While you're getting your gamer tag, uh, you know, just click click on over here to the direct challenge button. Copy paste right here. We're doing that. I'm going to spin the wheel and see what deck I'm playing up next.
Grixis Control. The deck list for the two lane deck. Um, it is right here. There you go. Okay, so we're playing Grixis Control. We just did the Grixis Control yesterday. And, um, you know, didn't go super well for us. But I still like the deck. I think it's a good deck. All right, make sure you have it best of. Okay, yeah, make sure you still choose best of three. Okay, so yeah, you're playing best of one. That's fine. I just I won't sideboard at all. But then we'll play two out of three games, and I won't do any sideboarding. So it'll be like two out of three best of one games. So you get so you not you don't just play one game. So to yeah to sign up. You can do historic. You just got you gotta tell me you want to do historic. But yeah, we can do historic or brawl. I have a brawl deck also. Um, so yeah, just click the direct challenge. Change this tab, the third tab. Change that to say format best of three. Don't change anything else. Copy paste my gamer tag over here. Oh, it's a capital E. Okay. There we go. Oh, the My Little Pony sleeves. I'm jealous. I should have picked up these sleeves while I had the chance. They're like the only sleeves I don't have. <laughs> no, I'm not. I would not really classify myself as a brony. I've never seen an episode of My Little Pony ever. I just, you know, just kind of a collectionist. They're, they're sleeves that I don't have. I should have shocked in before and had that flame sweep available for end step, but I didn't. Poor mana creatures. They just want to add mana. That's all they want to do. These giants are over here just stomping them. not cool. Alright, so we got Selesnia Ram. Okay, awesome. Max, you're 7-0 at best of three with that historic Rixus. Cool. 
I'm playing a deck just like that tomorrow, except for with kicker spells as well. Yeah, maybe green green finale. Yeah, I mean it's finale deck. Could see that. Lots of ramp. That's all we've seen so far is just ramp. What's the payoff? March of the multitudes. Yeah, Tyrant's Corn is really awesome with these. So we are gonna just bounce we're gonna bounce the Bone Crusher Giant back to hand and stomp again. Yeah, Tyrant's Corn is really awesome with the adventure creatures. And that's kind of what this deck's built around. It's just like all the adventure creatures bouncing them. All that kind of stuff. Well, I mean, I guess Noxious Grasp. I mean it's a green white deck, so I guess I'm supposed to be playing Noxious Grasp. Um yeah, I'll play that over Quench. Probably Disdainful Stroke over Capture. And over Drown and Walk. I'm guessing there's going to be some awesome big mana stuff here with all this ramp. Oh! That's right, this is best of one. No sideboarding, you're right. I just forgot about that. Ugh. All right, well, if I draw a sideboard card, I'm not playing it. So I just have dead cards in, in the deck. That's fair. I won't play I won't play a sideboard card if we draw it. Won't cast it. So Disdainful Stroke and Noxious Grasp. Those are just dead cards. Not not playing them. Oh wait, I need a shot because I don't have two I don't have two blue for a brazen borrower. Yeah, it's kinda critical to have the two blue for brazen borrower. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's fine. They can have Dragon God kill Nissa. Dragon Nicobolas, who shakes the world. <laughs> yeah, because now opponent's in a really rough spot. Because, like, what, you know, like, you can't really play Nissa again. Just in a tough spot there. Oh, I let them just exile one of these tokens. Yeah, I guess that's, that's just what I was going to do, though. Ooh, did not exile a token. Witness the moat of my power.
Well, I did not draw a cyborg card. That Grixis deck looked good there. Better than whenever we played against Trailer Crumbs. GG's at Ezum. GG's. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of very good matchups here. GG's Ezum. So I for I forgot that you said best of one and I sideboarded and everybody in chat was like, no, why are you why'd you sideboard? What are you doing? And I did not draw a single sideboard card, but if I did, I just wouldn't. Ca I wasn't going to cast it. So if I if I drew any of the sideboard cards, I was just going to make them dead cards that I wasn't going to play whatsoever. That's what I was going to do. But <clears throat> but then I didn't I didn't draw any, so I got lucky there. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> you can play any deck you want, MC. Ah, uh, you're asking asking chat which one which deck you should play. Okay. Let's see. It looks like lots of people are in here. Who's up next? Mr. Paladin. Brand new stuff from today, Mr. Paladin. <clears throat> All right, so Mr. Paladin, so um, you know, click click this direct challenge, click your gamer tag here, copy it, put it over here in the chat, and then take my gamer tag that I put in the chat, copy paste it over here for the opponent. Midrange is my favorite, Dr. Evil. And while that's going, let's let's spin the wheel. Let's see what deck I'm playing up next. Demir control. So we're going back to the blue black control style. So send me that gamer tag, Mr. Paladin. <clears throat> this is the Demir control. Does things. There's a new spoiler for Seder Lord. So Mr. Paladin, I'm wait I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you to send me your gamer tag. Okay, there we go. Grim thank you. It's a rare two mana two two haste. Other satyrs you control get plus one plus one and have haste. Whenever you attack with three or more creatures, you may discard a card at random. If you do, draw two cards. Mm. 
Yeah, that's a cool card. No, you just get... No, the, the numbers are just random. You just get, like, five random numbers. That's part of your gamer tag. Well, do I draw an untapped land? Yes, I do. Night. Yeah, I do like that Grim Knights is playing Knights. I do like that. That is pretty cool. to activate to return all my creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. I guess I should just cast this first before combat because, you know, I saw that, that they drew a land that I didn't need to hold up Sinister Sabotage anymore. And with tournament, you know, tournament grounds does not add black mana to activate castle. I basically just want to get this other murderous rider in play. draw. So now I have Sinister Sabotage with a couple of Murderous Riders doing damage. Alright, I don't... Even though Sinister Sabotage kind of locks the game up, I, I think we're at a spot we don't even really need to hold it up because of Tyrant Scorn. I guess if Grim Knight draws one more land, they get three creatures back in play. Yeah, we're playing Demir Control. Well, I am. I should say. I think they should do that instant speed. I don't know, it doesn't matter though. I would have had two instants that would have just gotten rid of everything. That game was about me drawing that untapped land for the Cry of the Carnarium.
So the negates are going to go out from Warcry of the Carnariums. Um, probably want Cruelty and Ritual of Soot. Serpent can go... Take out Borrowers. And... I'll play Serpent over Narset. Okay. Um, deck list for this one. Um, I'm just YouTube searching. I think this was this was the the video that we played with this. Yep, yeah, yep. Twitch yeah, it doesn't matter whatever whatever kind of sub your you know, Twitch Prime sub. Oh my gosh. My poor opponent. I'm sorry. Oh. That is rough. Legion's End hitting three worthy knights. And just all this exile stuff, of course, because of Cauldron Familiar. Fourth Worthy Knight. Worthy Knight's still trying. Yeah, this is... Down to 33. I don't like it's. I don't have unlimited cards in hand. This looks like a fun new toy. 
So like, ulting Jace to draw eight cards, just or draw seven cards, basically just. Doesn't doesn't really help. I mean, I don't even need to be activating Jace anymore. Okay. Man, that Legion's End, that was brutal. The Cry the Carnarium into the Legion's End. No, I'm not going to counter that. <clears throat> Come on. I was... Yeah, it's hard to see how that match yeah, could have gone worse for my opponent. Yeah. Oh, I, I can't... Yeah, that was... I know. All right. Um, yeah, sorry, Mr. Paladin. I had just all the removal, and it just it all just worked out so so well for me there. Okay, those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, hope you you've been enjoying the sub battle stream so far. That's going to be the end of part two. We're gonna have part three coming up. Click on over there to see some more awesome decks and awesome games. Thanks so much for watching, though. I'll see you for part three.